epilepsy when we talk about epilepsy epilepsy is known as apsmar in ayurveda in modern science also and there are various kind of treatments that are today laid down for epilepsy patients in many of the patients the patient is guided to take medication for up to 3 years we won't criticize the allopathic treatments of epilepsy because many people benefit from those treatments also but then there are a number of patients who despite taking the treatment are unable to come out of this disease ayurveda is a very good alternative for all such patients in ayurveda epilepsy is termed as apsmar as per the doshik differentiation in ayurveda there are there are various kinds of epilepsy that has been categorized here we won't go into the details of various kinds of epilepsy but there is something very common when it comes to the treatment of all such patients when we talk about the treatment of epilepsy patients it is basically the coordination of our right and left brain that is improved with the help of ayurvedic herbs when these medications are given to the patient the spikes which are otherwise very much evident in the eeg are significantly reduced in majority of the patients even after the first month usage of the medications many of anti epileptic medications are prepared in cow's ghee that is they are ghee based medications while there are other medications which are categorized in ayurveda as akshep shaman medications akshep shaman medications are one category of medications that is if we properly translated in allopathy we can say those medications which are anti convulsant apart from these anti convulsant medications the sangya stapan work of ayurveda the medhya rasayan work of ayurveda are very good for epilepsy patients when these medications are given to the patient in a proper dosage for a specified time period the patient is able to come out of this disease in a very nice way whenever the treatment is started both the severity as well as the frequency of seizures very quickly reduces in the patient even if the patient is having regular seizures and if the patient is having intermittent seizures then in many of such cases there is not even a single episode of seizure after the start of medications if we talk about medhya rasayan that is the four prime medication mentioned by acharya charak in charak sanhita for such patient there is a very nice shlok that is given in charak sanhita mandup parnya sarasya prayojya shireni asti mudukasya churnam raso guruchya astu sa mul phal pushp khalu shank pushpya it means that mandup parni the swaras which you can say extract of mandup parni can be used shireni asti mudukasya churn yashti madhu is mulethi that is the usage of yashti madhu mulethi churn with milk raso guruchya astu that is the again the swaras of giloe that is tinospora cardifolia and sa mul phal pushp khalu shank pushpya that is the panchan of all the parts of shank pushpya these all are very good medhya rasayan they are very good for brain for improving the coordination of left and right brain and when these are given to the patient in a specified dosage with akshep shaman medications the results are really miraculous the best part of ayurvedic treatment in epilepsy is that it can be given alone and it can also be given along with the normal therapy that is being given in allopathy for epilepsy patients like carbamazepine sodium valproate any kind of medication which is being given to the patient 
these ayurvedic medications are not having any kind of drug interaction with those medicines so they can be given along with those medicines also so that is the basic concept of how we can treat epilepsy patients with the help of ayurveda